Hello, I'm Rachel and this is a video about Saturn leaving Capricorn and moving into Aquarius. I, I did make this a couple of times before. The first time I did it, I stared right down the lens of the camera and it looked really scary. So I'm not going to do that. And then the children have been walking in and out. If it happens again, I'm just going to leave them and carry on. Okay, so... Saturn moves out of Capricorn, where it's been for two and a half years, into Aquarius on the 18th of December 2020. Only six days to go, and this should be a quite an exciting thing. Now then, let's just think about Saturn, the planet Saturn, and Capricorn, which actually have very much the same energies. So the zodiac sign of Capricorn, where Saturn has been going through for the past two and a half years, has also this year been occupied by Jupiter, all about um, teaching, law, truth, justice, and also Pluto is there. So you won't have failed to pick up that there are three planets going through the same portion of the sky this year and we've had quite a year haven't we with the coronavirus pandemic and okay so Saturn is at home in Capricorn so if I just explain some of those energies first I think it will really help you to see what Saturn has been doing in Capricorn and what is about to change because the reason the reason that there's going to be a big change is that the underdog is going to suddenly find it so much easier than it has been and this is the key part that I was missing I knew there was something that I couldn't quite get to and it's this wherever people have had power and control over them they're going to have a little bit of an easier time when it moves into Aquarius so Saturn is all about blocks challenges hard work disappointments in the life any form of um, suffering now if you think about uh, elders, whether that's your elders in your family or older people or whether it's a, um, a manager at work who's been there a long time. In theory, the reason we're told to respect our elders is because that person's lived more life than we have and they've had more opportunity to go through life's lessons and learn from them and hopefully pick up some wisdom along the way. Now we know that not everybody does that. We don't all learn from our lessons. People tend to go through the same patterns time and time again until we choose to make a change and do something about it and revise who we are. We take responsibility, another Saturn word, for ourselves. So Saturn is like, um, it's like a good father or a good manager or leader. Um, somebody who takes uh, responsibility rather than control. So they provide the rules. Now we could be talking about an individual or a group or um, an organisation or a structure or a system. This can operate on any level from individual right up to you know nationwide or you know, even global uh, systems, the underlying vibration of those systems, what what um, deeper emotions are driving those. So for example, patriarchy, uh, power and control is a very Saturnian Capricorn type um, vibration. Now, uh, Lessons that have not been learnt during the Saturn in Capricorn time are going to be more problematic when Saturn moves into Aquarius because Saturn is not going to feel even slightly at home in Aquarius. Aquarius is all about um, egalitarian structures, being in it for the collective, doing things for others, serving people, knowing that we are all equals. So organisations and people and leaders who have already made that transition and already declared that this is who we are in terms of our values, this is who we are and we are doing 
something in our organization for the benefit of others, not paying lip service to it, but doing it on a much deeper level and building structures for the future that are going to create a better world, they're gonna find the transition fine. Anyone who has been taking control over another person, subjugating another person in any other way, whether that is within uh, within a relationship, within the family, within the home, within a community, within an organisation, within uh, a department, within a classroom, within anywhere, there's going to be a problem. Because those, um, those really strict taking of power and control um, elements are not going to be rewarded. Now we all probably know somebody who's been promoted sideways because nobody knows what to do with them because uh, when you get problematic and challenging behaviour in an organisation it can be really hard to know what to do with that person. Quite often they get like you know shipped off to another um, another part of the country or you know whatever it is or moved into a different department and nobody really knows what to do with that person and everybody kind of laughs nervously at the same time as going what's actually happening here because that person is you know we don't respect them but we're also a bit frightened of them and anywhere where there is that fear um, that's not going to be okay you know we are getting rid of those fearful um, emotions Okay. Um, wherever they occur. So Saturn is about working hard and hard work in the right work is rewarded. So if we've been pushing along the wrong path, then it's likely that that won't come to fruition. This is why it's really important to you know, develop that relationship with yourself to know who you are and what you're doing, what is your purpose, what's your mission, uh, formulate your goals and then go and achieve them. Okay, with hard work, <laughs> putting in that effort, Saturn rewards, hard work and learning lessons, but not slipping back into them. And yeah, we all do it, but um, choosing not to repeat behaviors and deciding okay i've learned that lesson i know what the lesson was now i move on and i choose different and i choose better being able to do that and moving forward especially for the benefit of the collective of the whole okay that's going to be really really important as saturn moves into aquarius so Obstacles and challenges. Saturn brings delays, obstacles, challenges. It can bring depression. It can, if it's badly aspected within the natal chart, it can bring real big problems to the life. However, I always say Saturn can be worked with. So whatever challenges beset us in our lives, we can do something about it. We can choose to get ourselves out of it and I say that with the greatest respect for how difficult some challenges can be, genuinely, and they can take years. Saturn also rules time. Um, but yes, you can work with Saturn, um, working hard to overcome those problems and honing down on deeper, more honourable values. Okay. Um, after you have done that, when you have chosen to learn your lessons and you keep applying faith and strength and consistency and keep showing up in that same new person that you are, then Saturn rewards that as well. Okay, so it's not just this, Saturn's not just rewarding nine till five, putting the, putting the work in as, you know, a robotic body and mind don't worry about that. Those are corporate patriarchal systems that we are saying goodbye to in this era. And um, I think that there will be quite a lot of collapse of structures that are that don't have solid foundations. And by that, I mean uh, deeper values of respect for all human life, respect for Mother Earth, respect for animals, respect for every part of our symbiotic universe. Anything that doesn't take care of others in the way it should be doing, either through um, malintent or ignorance, 
they will go. Those structures won't hold up because we can't support them. And we're not, we're not here to support them either. People can either learn their lessons or, or they, they can choose not to, but there will always be um, a knock-on effect. There's always an effect of learning a lesson or of not learning a lesson. And I feel very much that we're about to see anyone in any structure that has not learned its lessons and not put in the hard work, not put in the hard work in the right work, those will collapse now. And if they don't collapse now, well, Pluto is going to go through the end of Capricorn very slowly for the next few years. And Pluto will just wipe away what has not been learnt because we have had our opportunity now. So we've had our opportunity to learn lessons and we're about to see the fruits of our labour. Thank you for watching.